It's been five months since an EF2 tornado tore through Point Place, causing millions of dollars worth of damage. And some in the area are still struggling. So a local nonprofit gave out checks to those who need them. Michael Sandlin was there. So, Mike, how did this come together and how much help are they getting? Well, Melissa, a group of pastors in Point Place saw that there were people still struggling with damage months after the storm. So they teamed up with Lutheran Social Services and the Friendship Park Community Center to fundraise for them, raising about 40 grand. Now spread out amongst 63 people, it's not life changing money, but the, for the people I talked to got their checks, it's more than generous. Wednesday morning, the line at Friendship Park Community Center was almost out the door. Dozens arrived as early as they could to collect their checks, excited to be one step closer to finishing their home repairs, now almost six months after the storm. For Lutheran Social Services worker Jeremy Schneider, who helped raise the funds, seeing the relief on the awaiting people's faces made all the effort worthwhile. You know, it's the day before Thanksgiving. You know, everybody's got a lot on their plate, a lot on their mind. Um, and to be able to take something like that off of their plate, to be able to give them a little bit of peace of mind was fantastic. Schneider explained to me that the funding broke down to a thousand bucks for families and 500 bucks for individuals. One of those individuals is Sue Monday, a longtime resident of the point whose backyard suffered from the tornado's path. The neighbor's tree took out the privacy fence, the small built and swimming pool, and the entire, it went across the entire length of the two and a half car garage roof. In the months following, Sue's insurance was able to cover the tree removal and the fence and pool repair, but the check didn't stretch to the garage. They don't want to give any more money out to fix it. So for the last six months, she's been living with a building that is always at risk of an imminent collapse, potentially sending her right back to where she started. Yeah, if it tumbles, it's going to, you know, take out part of the fence that's been just replaced and the pool that was just fixed. It's been a worry on Sue's mind since she first saw the damage. And even with this relief check, that worry isn't going away anytime soon. It's not enough to cover the repairs. But Sue says it's a start. And she says for people to still offer this kind of generosity, even months later, it touches her. Grateful, very grateful, especially now. I still be hope for Sue's garage just yet. She tells me she's working with a new claims adjuster. One who will look over all of her documentation since June and reassess if they can help her out. Let's hope they can. In studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.